In this tutorial, we'll be looking at some of the most efficient ways to remove blank rows or cells from an Excel dataset. When you have data that's copied and pasted or imported from other sources into Excel, sometimes you end up with a worksheet that's not properly formatted and may include blank rows. Aside from being visually unappealing, blank rows can cause errors if Excel misinterprets them as breaks in data when it's sorting, calculating formulas, or working with tables and macros. So wanting to remove those blank cells is quite reasonable. There are multiple ways to remove blank rows, some simpler than others. The method you choose will vary depending on the complexity of your data set and the Excel functionalities you're comfortable with. If your data set is relatively small and it's easy to see all the rows, then the quickest way to remove entire blank rows may be to just manually delete them. You can click on the row or rows you'd like to delete by selecting the row number. Make sure you get this little black arrow, right click and delete. To delete multiple adjacent rows, just click on the first row to be deleted and drag all the way to the last one. Once they're all highlighted, right click and delete. And if you wanna delete several non-adjacent rows, then click on each row number that you wanna delete while holding down the control key. If you're using a Mac, it'll be the command key instead of control. Then right click and delete. Another way to remove entire rows from your dataset is to use the sort command. Highlight the entire dataset, go to your data tab, and use the sort icon to choose which column you wanna sort by. Let's sort by our date column, and our data does have headers, so we make sure that this box is checked. We click on Date, Oldest to Newest, and OK. Once we do that, all the blank rows will go to the bottom of the data set. If your data is a bit more complex, you'll probably prefer one of the following options. 1. Auto Filter. When you have non-uniform blank cells, but you only want to delete entire rows which have no data, select the entire data set, then click on the filter icon on the data tab. Then starting with the first column, click on the filter dropdown and uncheck the select all checkbox at the top of the filter panel. Collapse all the filter conditions because blanks will be at the very end. Check the blanks checkbox and click OK. Rows that contain data in the first column will now be hidden by your filter. Repeat this process for all the remaining rows until you're only looking at blank rows. You'll see all the rows with no data in blue numbers on the left of your screen. Just highlight them, right click, and delete row. Those rows are now removed from your data set. You can now remove the filter by deselecting the filter icon and you'll see all the rows with valid data. This auto filter solution can be applied when some cells in a row are blank, but the other cells have useful data. Filters allow us to preserve all our data while temporarily removing what we don't want to see. The second option for complex data is Excel's advanced filter feature. This allows you to specify which blank fields you'd like to exclude from your display but goes a step further by allowing you to display cells which satisfy one criterion or another. For instance, if we wanted to get all the records that have either an email address or a phone number, an auto filter can't do that. Removing records with blanks in column E will also remove some records with valid data in column F. So let's set up an advanced filter. Our filter concerns two columns, email and phone. We replicate these headings by copying them and placing them somewhere else on our worksheet. So now we want to set up our criteria. In the email column, we're looking for records that do not contain blanks. The less than, greater than symbols mean is not equal to, and we type nothing after that. So this is saying we're looking for records where the email column is not blank. This next part is really important. Because we want an or, our next condition must be in the next row. We type the same less than, greater than symbol in the phone criteria, 
and hit enter. Now we click on the cell where we want our extracted list to appear. Then we go to our data tab and click on the advanced filter icon. Advanced filters allow us to extract the data we want to another location in the same worksheet or to filter it in place the way that auto filters do. In this example, let's demonstrate extracting it to another location. In our pop-up window, we select copy to another location and select our original data set as our list range. The criteria range will be the headers and values we've created from K3 to L5. And we'll copy our extracted data starting at K8 and ending at S8. We hit OK and the data we requested is displayed where we want it. Let's expand these columns so we can take a look at our data. All the extracted records have either an email address or a phone number as requested. One drawback with advanced filters is that the filter isn't dynamic, meaning that it has to be reapplied if we adjust our criteria. Another limitation is that while your advanced filter can be in a different location on the worksheet, it must be on the same worksheet as the original data set. There are other ways to handle advanced removal of unwanted blank cells. With Microsoft 365, we can now use the filter function, which is dynamic, so it updates automatically when your data changes and allows you to extract data to another worksheet. This is an improvement over the advanced filter we just saw. If you don't have Office 365, you can access this new function through Excel Online. Power Query is another useful method which can be used to trim data the way we want. To learn how to use these and other powerful Excel tools when handling complex data, check out our Microsoft Excel Advanced course on GoSkills.com. Ready to learn more about Microsoft Excel? Then check out the full course on GoSkills.com. Click the link in the description.